Hi guys, welcome back to our Gregory home. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this super fun pineapple chandelier out of items from the Dollar Tree. If you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and start with these embroidery hoops that I did pick up from the thrift store. They were $3.49 for this whole bundle, which was an amazing deal. But if you do not have these, then you can use this wire wreath form from the Dollar Tree and it would work just as good. So I'm going to be taking those two, one bigger one and one smaller one, and I'm just going to be removing that metal piece that holds the two pieces of the hoop together. And then I'm going to be gluing those two pieces together. So here I am taking off the, wire, the metal piece from the smaller hoop. Now I'm going to be taking five of my eight pineapple solar lights that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be placing them how I think that they would look good on the chandelier on the bigger embroidery hoop. Once I have those placed out evenly, I just kind of eyeballed it. I'm taking a pen and marking off where those pineapple solar lights are. And then I'm going to be taking this wooden door shim that I picked up from Home Depot. I had this on hand. However, if you do not have these or a piece of wood, you can use the ruler that is from Dollar Tree. So here I'm just cutting a small little square and I am cutting five of those. This is going to be the base to our pineapple solar light. So I'm cutting five of those and then once I have those all cut, I'm going to kind of trim down the sides, make sure that they look nice and flush. Then I'm going to be taking some of this super glue that was from the Dollar Tree and then a mixture of hot glue. And I am just going to be adding the glue to that embroidery hoop and then placing that square piece of wood directly on top. I'm going to do this all around the embroidery hoop where I have those black marks. Now doing the hot glue and the super glue is nice because this, the hot glue will dry really fast while it waits for that super glue to dry. Once I have that last piece on, I'm going to be doing basically the same thing with these pineapple solar lights. So I'm going to be taking the tag off and actually taking the top piece off of that light. And then I'm going to be adding the super glue around the edge and then the hot glue in the middle. And then I'm going to be pressing those down onto that wooden piece. So I'm just going to be doing this all around the entire wreath form with the five of those pineapple solar lights. And then I'm also going to be doing that same exact thing to the smaller embroidery hoop. Except on the smaller embroidery hoop I only used three of the pineapple lights instead of five. Now I did wait a total of 24 hours for this to dry just because I did not want them to accidentally fall off if the glue wasn't dry or anything when we move on to the next step. So the next step is taking those solar lights and taking their little orange plastic tab out and then adding the solar light and then the pineapple topper back onto those lights. Now I'm going to be taking this wire that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. This is like a floral wire and I decided to use wire because I am going to be adding beads to this and since this is going to be hanging outside, I wanted the wire to be able to withstand all of the elements, the rain, the wind. I was afraid if I used the twine, then over time it would disintegrate and would not hold up. So wire it is. So what I'm doing here is just measuring five wires the same length and I'm going to be wrapping those around in the middle between each pineapple. So what I did is I wrapped the wire around twice and then kind of twisted it around itself so it stayed in place. 
Now, once those are on, I have these beads that I picked up from Amazon and they were $8 for 500 beads, which is an amazing price. I decided to go for this bag off of Amazon because if I would have gone with the beads from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree does carry wooden beads, um, but it would have cost me about $20 for 500 beads versus $8 for 500 beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and link these beads down below so you guys can get that awesome price. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just love these beads and the colors are absolutely adorable for summer. So here I am just stringing those beads on. I did add, I think, 20 beads. You can see I'm counting them there to make sure that each strand has the same amount of beads. And I'm gonna be doing this all along and you can see here I saved you guys from watching me string five strands of beads. <laughs> now once those beads are on, I am holding up that second layer of the embroidery hoop, the smaller one, above the bigger one. And I am going to be taking that wire and wrapping that around the top. Now once that's all wrapped, I am going to be using this hook that I had laying around, but if you don't have one that looks like this or have one that's laying around, Dollar Tree does sell this chain and they do have this hook that would work just as good. So I'm going to be using this hook just because I had it laying around and I wanted to use it. So now what I'm going to be doing is using three wires that are the same length and this is going to be how the how the chandelier is going to hang so I'm twisting those on and you can see I am adding that between the pineapples on the top so between the three pineapples and once those are on I am going to make sure that it hangs okay and now I am going to be adding more beads so again, I saved you guys from watching me string a million beads. It is pretty time consuming, but it does turn out very cute. And now I am just threading those wires, all three of them, through this little hole that's on the hook. Now I'm going to be holding that up and making sure that it is hanging evenly. If it's not hanging evenly, then I just kind of pull one side up through farther than the other. And I just want to make sure that it's not crooked or that it's hanging sideways. Once I get all of those hung perfectly, I am just taking that wire and wrapping it around so it stays secure. Now once that is all hanging perfectly, what I'm going to be doing is I actually attached the hanger to the top of my tripod. <laughs> this is the only way I could figure out how to hang it so you guys could see what I was doing next. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a little half circle of beads. So I'm going to be doing that basically from the pineapple, or I'm sorry, from the strand to the strand that attaches the two hoops together. So you can see here I'm adding all of those beads onto it and I'm going to be attaching that little half circle to the other strand of beads from the bottom. Now I did that all around and I did that on the bottom as well and to kind of hide that strand I added these little beads just by gluing them on and here is what it looks like finished. Now you guys we had a few sunny days and then all of a sudden we had nine days of rain and of course I filmed this when it was raining so I could not hang this outside for you guys to see it so it does not do its justice but I promise you this is absolutely adorable I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in the dark as well but there is no Sun so my solar lights could not charge <laughs> So here's what it looks like on my desk. This is where I do all of my crafting and I think it turned out so cute. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait for better weather so I can hang this up outside. Here's just kind of an up close look. I think all of the colors look so cute. It's so summer and I can't wait to see this glow outside.
all right you guys thank you so much for watching that does it for this dollar tree diy i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it gives you some ideas on how you can decorate your home on a budget remember to always be creative be unique but most importantly be yourself and we will catch you in the next video bye, bye.